season switching, now niggas is leaving bitches. Now she is tripping, soon as she began to see the difference. A homegirl called and told her that she's seen them slipping. Out with these sleazy chickens, windows on the- Okay, so we have from zero to four, and they give us X, BX, DX. Okay, so they give us that, um, let's see, what do we want to find here? Oh, okay, so air. Now we're doing SN, so air of the Simpsons one, is less than or equal to 10 to the negative 9. So that's an even smaller number than last time. Um, okay, so we want this air um, to be less than or equal to, okay, so this, this 10 to the negative 9 is equal to K4, B minus A, fifth, over 180, N to the fourth, right? That's just the formula for um, the air for Simpsons. And then, yeah, so we have uh, b minus a equals 4, like 4 minus 0, right? And then we know our n, well, that's what we're trying to find. So, again, yeah, sorry, we're trying to find n on this one, okay? Um, so then we also know the error. Error equals this, equals that value, and we need to find k4. Um, so let me first of all just solve for n, and n will turn out to be, um, let's see, what are we going to have here? Hold on. So we're actually going to have the k4, and then b minus a to the fifth over 180, and then the error goes down here. This is the same process that I did um, for the previous problem. I did, I'm just doing it all in one. So, And then 1 um, to the 1 fourth power, because n was to the fourth, right, instead of the second. Okay, so we're trying to find this k4. So that means we're going to have to do the derivatives. So f, f of x equals x to the ex. f prime of x, and now we're going to employ the chain rule. Um, no, not the chain rule, sorry, product rule, product rule. Getting all my differentiation mixed up. So product rule, um, so derivative of the first, well, I'll do derivative of the second. So keep the first the same, derivative of the second is ex, e to the x, um, and then derivative of the first is 1 times keep the second the same. So we're just gonna get e or x to the x times e to the x plus e to the x. Let's try the second one. We're gonna have so this is basically what we just did, right? So we're actually gonna get e x times e to the x plus e to the x. That's this first part here. And then plus the additional one we had already, right? And the derivative of that is just it by itself. Um, so this is plus 2 e to the x. So if we keep doing this, see how this term keeps like multiplying and making more um, single e to the x's? So basically, I'll save you some time. And um, so the fourth derivative is going to be, um, well, x e to the x plus 4 e to the x. Okay? And this is the same thing as x plus 4 times e to the x. And I don't know, I mean, I guess that doesn't really simplify or anything, but it just looks nicer. So yeah, okay. Um, and then we're trying to find where, when this is a maximum. So uh, here's our interval is zero to four. And I don't exactly know how to graph that um, necessarily, but we can just try some values. So let's try the endpoints first of all. So if we do zero, we'll get zero plus four times e to the zero equals four. Um, now if we actually try four, then we will do uh, 4 plus 4 times e to the fourth, which is actually a pretty high number, um, relatively. So this is, I believe this is the maximum that it can be. You can try some other points in between, like 2, but if, hypothetically, if you, hypothetically, if you were to try 2, you get 2 plus 4, so that's 6 e, e squared, which is smaller than this. So I believe this is the maximum. Um, so this is our maximum of the fourth derivative. Okay, so this is k4. Alright, so this is k4. That's another way to write it. Okay, so when we plug it in um, to this formula, oh, okay, wait, hold on a minute, I have to fix something. So this is not, um, also on the previous problem, this is supposed to be equals, I'm sorry. Yeah, because there's an equal sign here, so that's actually what comes out, not a less than or equal to. I thought that looked funny. So n equals, and then we our k4 is a, or 8 um, times e to the 4th, uh, and then b minus a is 4 to the 5th over 180, and then our error, they want it to be 10 to the negative ninth, and all of this is to the 1 fourth power. So n 
turns out to be a less um, pretty number, but uh, it's something like this, which is about, and whenever we have um, an n given to us, and even if there, and it's a decimal, and after the decimal, even if you had something less than 5, like something 0.3, you always round up, just in case, um, because it's always better for n to be great, for, yeah, for n to be bigger, because then you get um, higher accuracy. Okay? All right, so that does it for um, the homework problems. Uh, good luck, and I'll talk to you later. Was it some lies you would tell? Was this love really? Am I just a dime on your belt? All you say is you need time to yourself. As soon as summer comes.